As teenagers head back to high school this year, most will be focused on getting through NCEA and maybe looking towards university or future qualifications. But one Porirua student is setting her sights a little higher. Well, actually a lot higher. 17-year-old Rianne Taro has been accepted into a space camp program which takes place in Alabama in the United States. She wants to eventually be the first Māori woman to make it into space and is doing everything she can to make sure she gets there. We sent our reporter Nita Blake Person and visual journalist Bex Parson King along to meet the budding space cadet. They filed this story. Rianne Taro is gearing up for her biggest year yet. She's heading into year 13 at Mana College and in addition to her schoolwork and multiple leadership roles, she's on a mission to make it to Mars. When we see Earth, we've got like countries and you know water and that, but when you see like Mars, they don't have that and then you're just, it's just fascinating. I just want to see it, I just want to actually just see it right in front of me. Like I see pictures and I see movies, but I want to just see it right in front of me. Come July, Rianne will be headed to the US for a space camp based on NASA's astronaut program. She'll be joining teenagers from around the world for the two-week event, a taster of all things space-related. In New Zealand, we don't have like museums, we don't have a lot of things to do with space because that's more like America kind of stuff. Like, you know, we hear about it, we like read about it, but we don't actually have places to go in New Zealand to actually go about space. The camp is the next step in reaching her ultimate goal. It'll be a great opportunity to be like the first Māori woman to actually go into space because in New Zealand we don't really have those opportunities to do that. A goal that makes her parents incredibly proud. I think it'll be absolutely amazing. I mean, be so proud, but at the end of the day it's what she wants to achieve and that's more important if that's what she wants and now there's a step that she can get there. I think that's ultimately awesome and what a wonderful achievement for New Zealand. Rianne is the second youngest of five children and her mum Lisa Patterson says her space odyssey began at a young age. Every time we would go past any sort of book stand and anything to do with space would catch her eye. For Christmas or birthdays what she wanted was a uh, telescope or binoculars or something like that so she could look a little bit further. She says the space camp is a once in a lifetime opportunity and Rianne's drive is what will get her there. I look at like Paris Goebel and I think you know what a wonderful woman because she's managed to just put her head down into something that she really wanted to do and she just went hard and achieved it yet there was nothing there in the first place for her to take that. A little bit different with the space it's not like you can just go outside and put yourself together a rocket and go okay I'm, I'm off but the same thought is behind it and I can see Rianne's got the same thought as in being able to this is what I want to do and now here's a, a leg up in being able to get there. Rianne is one of the top students at Mana College. You wouldn't hear it from her, she's incredibly humble but the school's head of science Diana Wright says there's no doubting her capabilities. She is amazing. She's an absolutely amazing. She's one of those students that you want to clone and you know, have 30 of in your classroom and the class have put up this um, model of the solar system and this here is Rianne's spaceman. Rianne was in the top 5% of the country for her level 1 NCEA results and passed again last year with flying colours. Miss Wright says she's got all the characteristics required to make it to space and she's over the moon that she's off to the camp. I want her to get the opportunity that I didn't have when I was younger, you know, when I was younger, you know, women didn't do things like that um, and um, there weren't the, the opportunities for going to space camps. But the opportunity doesn't come cheap. There's an $8,000 price tag attached to space camp and Rianne has been working hard to raise the cash. Starting at like 8 in the morning till 5 doing the sausages also has, has been tiring, yeah. But she says it's well worth it. Um, one lady did say that her daughter wants, she said like if her daughter gets the maid she wants the same kind of thing for her. So supporting me she hopes that it will encourage her daughter to do so, to go into space because she's really interested in it. Rianne isn't sure what's next for her studies and space pursuits. She's hopeful the camp will help shape her plans. And in the meantime, she's determined to get her NCA Level 3 with excellence. Beyond that, the sky's the limit. In Wellington for Checkpoint, Nita Blankperson. And isn't that awesome? If you would like to help Rianne get to space camp, there'll be a link to her Give a Little page on our Facebook page.